is most of the 24 hours. <laughs> Hi, I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for joining us today. Joining us today is Arun Argawal, CEO and co-founder with Infinio. Hi, George. Happy to be here. Thanks for joining us. So you guys are a little new to the storage scene. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what problems you guys solve? Sure. So, George, I'm here today to talk about what we at Infinio call downloadable storage performance. And really, this problem we're trying to solve is how do you get you know, decent storage performance in a virtual environment without throwing a whole bunch of hardware at the problem. Okay. So uh, if you look at a typical virtualized environment, uh, what it looks like is something like this. You've got a couple of physical servers, mm -hmm. these big boxes here that I wrote ESX on. They're usually running a hypervisor, something like VMware ESX or ESXi. And on top of those uh, physical boxes, you have your virtual machines. Right. Generally speaking, your storage is actually centralized, uh, in part because you want these virtual machines to be able to vMotion and migrate between the physical hosts. Sure. And if you look at this whole environment, uh, one of the most, actually really the most expensive thing, is uh, the storage system. And um, you know the reason is not because of, of space. Uh, we all know from our personal lives, you used to buy a laptop with 10, 10 gigs of hard drive space, now you get hundreds. Right, right? It, yeah, it's, it's always a capacity. I mean, it's always a performance issue. Yeah, right? you got yeah. it. You've gone from having three physical servers hitting this thing to all these virtual servers. Right. And so what happens is inevitably is you add more virtual machines and then you actually add more physical servers to more virtual machines. Eventually the response time on the storage system suffers and users get bad performance in the VMs. And so what happens? You call up your storage vendor, and they say, hey, add more shelves of disk to this box, or even you know, buy another one of these guys. And the storage vendors don't mind that. No, they don't at all, because yeah, you know right. what? This is big bucks right here, right, you know, sure. hundreds of thousands of dollars. OK. So how do you guys jump in and, and fix that problem? Sure. Well, the first thing I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll erase all this, because uh, with Infinio, you're not going to need any hardware. So Infinio has, you know, we, we pretty squarely believe you've got to separate the capacity from performance problem. Okay. Um, and the second thing we really believe is it should be a software solution. Uh, the answer is not throw more hardware. So what Infinio is, is it's a downloadable product. You just download it from the internet, super easy to install. And what it does is it installs a virtual appliance on each one of your physical hosts. And what we do is we take uh, a little bit of RAM and a little bit of CPU from each host, mm -hmm. and we stitch it together into a shared caching and acceleration layer across okay. us. So it's shared and deduplicated. Yeah, and that's really important actually, George, because the reason we're able to do this with, with uh, just, just software and just the resource on these boxes, a little bit of CPU and RAM, is because uh, it turns out if you look at these virtual machines, the blocks they need from storage are actually quite redundant. You know, they're all running Windows or Linux. Mm -hmm. So the idea here is with the deduplication and sharing, uh, a VM over here can actually get data that was recently requested from a VM over sure. here. Yeah. That's why you don't need to throw hardware at the problem. Okay. So then, um, it, one thing that obviously I, that I, is missing so far the conversation that usually comes up when we're talking about performance is SSDs. What's, what's your guys' take on SSDs? Yeah, so, so first of all, um, you know, I want to point out some of the advantages of the software-only solution. Okay. And particularly our software-only solution. Okay. First, as I mentioned, downloadable from the internet. Go to right. our website, you can download it, super easy. 30-minute uh, installation process and you're mm -hmm. up and running. Mm -hmm. uh, no reboots required, no interruption to workloads. We actually okay. insert this layer with no disruption. Okay. That's very, very different than an SSD or hardware-based solution where you're going to go down to the data center, uh, you know, oh, you know, open up, uh, open up a box, you know, disconnect cables. You're going to have to schedule a maintenance window, all that oh, type right, of stuff, yeah. just to get the hardware. This is no interruptions, no reboots. It just works. Okay. You know, that being said, we know that SSDs are part of our customers' future, sure. right? And they're part of our future as well. And so the idea is you can get going with Infinio, mm -hmm. um, you know, just with the RAM and CPU, and then you can add SSDs to any of these hosts. So let's say I put an SSD card here. And that becomes part of the shared distributed dedupe layer. Okay. Um, that's actually quite different than most of the other SSD stories that you're hearing. Um, first of all, uh, you know, there's, there's generally three places you can put SSDs, either in the storage system, in an inline appliance, or in the servers. Right. Uh, you know, doing it in the storage system, you know, that's not going to be that much cheaper than buying more storage hardware from your storage vendor. Right, yeah, those know. guys have incredible markups on that. Yeah, exactly, yeah. right? They're not going to sell the SSDs cheap if they're right. losing sales on the boxes. Yeah. Uh, the inline appliance, that's essentially a physical box filled with SSDs. That too, you know, you're talking about putting something in the middle of your network, yeah, big a project, a lot, lot, lot of work, you know, yep. not easy. And the server side vendors, because they don't have the shared uh, layer, they require you to put an SSD in every single box. Right. So, of course, you're buying more SSDs, you know, probably more than you need. Uh, more points of failure, much more installation. You got to unrack every single box, stick it in. You know, just 
Well, and a lot you more. got a manageability issue because now you've created islands of storage that you might need to manage. Exactly, as well, right? exactly. Versus with Infinio, it's all shared. Okay. So again, goal is customers are at different places in the SSD adoption curve. We meet them where they are. No SSDs, you get benefit. Uh, want even more benefit at SSDs. Okay. So uh, do you have a, a kind of a screenshot of what the product looks like? Yeah, absolutely. So you go through this installation process. Uh, it's going to be on your Windows or Mac machine. If you, you go to our website on a Windows machine, you're going to get a Windows executable on a Mac machine, a Mac DMG. Mm -hmm. You double click it. There's just a double click installation process where uh, you give your vCenter credentials. It asks you a bunch of questions, tells you exactly what it's going to do. Mm -hmm. You click install Infinio. And then, um, you know, it's, it's installed 30 minutes later. You get taken to this dashboard, you know, very, very friendly. Shows you all the data stores that are accelerated, the ones that aren't, you can accelerate more. Uh, shows you how many disks you would have had to buy from your storage vendor if you didn't have Infinio. That, that's good. Yeah, yeah, and a couple other stats. Um, so that, you can now kind of show cache efficiency and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, too. exactly, exactly. Um, and then, you know, using these tools, one thing I, I didn't mention earlier is product's also very easy to uninstall. Because okay. um, again, it's, it's easy to install, easy to uninstall, just software. Um, we want to make the product really easy to try. So okay. you know, it's 30 day free trial. You know, you install it, easy to install everything and of course and you're confident they're not going to uninstall it right yeah yeah well you know <laughs> here's the thing though george it's it's um you know we're seeing really good results with customers but mm -hmm. every environment is different and certainly if customers aren't seeing results we're not in the business of selling software that doesn't work so our, our whole goal is make it really easy to try 30-day free trial and if you get results which we're confident you will then great if not you know no harm done right so well, let's talk about those results a little bit uh, what kind of results are you guys seeing from a performance perspective sure so in our early trials both internal and external um, you know we're, we're seeing good stuff we're really excited so first of all uh, we put this in front of both brand new filers mm -hmm. as well as already overloaded filers okay uh, and in both cases we're seeing reduced latency we're just seeing the latency go down response time improve from the storage system so we're really excited about that the, the other thing we're seeing that that's exciting is we're actually seeing latency is much more smooth so George in certain applications it's not just just about having low latency it's also about having you know very consistent latency it brings predictability exactly right and and we're actually seeing both benefits so but again you know I can't emphasize enough we've made the product super easy to download super easy to install you know 30 minutes easy to try free to try because right. we just want customers to try it out and see the benefit they get yeah and I think I guess that's what you mean by downloadable storage performance right there's no one of the other problems that the other caching vendors have is that there's some piece of hardware that either has got to be ordered or installed or, or something like that yeah 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 they'll say it's a downloadable trial but what they really mean is downloadable if you also go buy an SSD and have that maintenance window put it in exactly. we're trying to truly be you know really friendly to the administrator Great. and we want people to buy performance not disk Right. All right, Rutan, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me, George. I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for tuning in.